There was talk about record-breaking temps over the weekend, and every year, Death Valley Park Rangers say one to three people die inside the park. Make sure you get all the air out. 185 on the ground. Do you think he's actually going to die? Welcome to Death Valley, the most challenging environment on the planet for life to thrive. Death Valley in California, the hottest place on Earth. And where we will try to survive the entire day throughout all of its terrain. In the past year alone, we have seen record-breaking temperatures, cities and countries alike reporting prolonged heat waves impacting millions of people. But the climate is in profound crisis. Arctic sea ice continues to shrink at an alarming rate. Polar ecosystems are being crippled. Devastating wildfires are breaking out globally. Coral reefs are dying. Increased hurricanes, cyclones, drought, heat-related illness, and death is rapidly increasing throughout the world, all due to these extreme temperatures. And it's scary because it's existential. These consequences only highlight the urgency needed to address global warming. But to understand what the heat can and will do to humankind, we decided to head to the hottest place on Earth, Death Valley, on the day expected to be the hottest temperature ever reliably recorded on the planet. Planet. 130 degrees. That's 130 degrees. 130 degrees Fahrenheit. This video was done under the supervision of a medical professional, and to be blunt, it probably saved our lives. Welcome back to TFIL, and this is our brand new subscriber challenge series. Where for 30 videos, your comments, your ideas, your suggestions, your creations will decide what videos we have to make. So leave a comment right now of whatever ridiculous idea you want to see happen. Give us a challenge. TFIL has done a lot of crazy things over the years. We've done Suicide Forest and the Paris Catacombs and Overnight and Music Park this and Water Park that. Give us something. Challenge us. Bring it on. And also, fun fact, Corey's already agreed to do all 30 of these videos. So have fun with that. But we decided to kick off video one in Death Valley because just yesterday there was breaking news that today might possibly be the hottest recorded temperature on Earth. So, on You're last here. minute notice, <laughs> which is why Ginger's here, because everyone Hi. else is out of town, we hit up Eric, who is an actual <laughs> medic, to make sure we don't die. The plan is to cover Badwater Basin, which is one of the hottest places and the lowest point in this hemisphere. Then to the highest point of the dunes and back. Then going to Grotto Canyon and back. And finishing it off, hiking a six mile trail through the mountains in Zabriskie Point. What is actually the worst thing that can happen? Organ failure leading to a very slow and painful death is the worst possible thing. How do we prevent that? <laughs> Bunch of ice if you overheat. I mean, monitoring your vitals, and if it gets too bad, I'll have to pull you. What do you think about me doing this without anything at all? <laughs> That's not smart. I would. <laughs> I strongly advise a not going that route. But are you gonna stop me? <laughs> I mean. What? What? <laughs> what is hiring you? I'm oh my god, you can't even survive the <laughs> intro, let alone a hike with no water. Jonah, you're doing it with us, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Should we get ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's get ready. Okay. Bye. All right, we're gonna go die in the heat now. Yeah, Thunder, you would hate it. We'll see you later. Hopefully. Bye, bud. I love you. Jonah's back. Let's first, do it, First baby. video with us in I don't know how long. Just came in ready to, to pass out in the desert and yeah. let's go. We have Ginger, we have supplies, and we have Eric. We have a medic. <laughs> An actual medic, even though you're in <laughs> swim <it>. trunks. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. What? He just cannot read the sign for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop. Oh, I like it. You're gonna catch us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, the noise is making so much worse. <laughs> Put that above our bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, we put that on all of Thunder's toys. <laughs> Walk down. I'm getting down. Walk. 
I feel like I'm like watching the evolution of like when fish first learned how to get out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Death Valley. Yep. 122, 122 currently. Oh. And then it's gonna get even hotter in Badwater Basin. Because really? the lower we go, the hotter it gets. The we sand is 170 degrees. Will that burn us? Don't touch the sand, please. <laughs> oh my god. Don't touch the sand. It will burn your skin. Elton! Elton! Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! You can't tell me not to play with it now. Why is it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's absurdly hot. Yeah, I mean, you just took the temperature. Yeah, it's almost it. like it's 170. Oh my god! Oh. Your shirt is 113 degrees. Wow. Your shirt alone, 113 degrees. What organ would fail little... first? It would either be the brain or the heart. Oh my god. Or the kidney. So yeah, three. My heart already doesn't work, so. Well, we're brain. Find out. Is that correct? Yeah. Are we, are we doing a preliminary check-in? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have like a baseline. So on top of confusion and like lightheadedness and fatigue, okay. uh, your vital signs will show, heart rate will spike, and blood pressure will start dropping. What's a normal point? The camera overheated. Yeah. Have you told Eric what happened to you last time? Uh, yeah, I, I had heat stroke in Utah. Ended up having to kind of rush to the hospital because I was like non-verbal and couldn't stand. That's expressive aphasia. That expressive is, uh, aphasia. You can't get the words out. I thought it was just low IQ. <laughs> my dad's a physician and he like called us to try and help us figure it out. And I like, my friends gave me the phone. I didn't even recognize my own father's voice. Can we give him an IQ test now? Hey. He's giving me like stupid tests all day. Like, yeah. The green man lives in the greenhouse. Who lives in the White House? No, the president. <laughs> Who can fit through the green glass door? Gardener? Oh no. no, he doesn't know. No, that's not who can fit through the green glass door. Subway would never be allowed yeah. to have a green glass door, but Jimmy John's, they, yeah. they could have a green glass door. Yeah. I, I actually f***ing hate these. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a passion. It's gonna be Cause a I'll just day. sit here for like 15 minutes like, I don't know! Mission one, to that point and back. See you like an hour? I can see the rocks. The earth's getting hotter. You want to help? You can plant a tree. TFIL literally is planting a tree with every single subscriber we get in 2023. If you're watching this video, that means we've already planted 100,000 trees so far. Our goal is a million. Literally click the button, hit subscribe. If you plant a tree, you can check all the information in the description to see that we're doing it. And uh, yeah, our goals, I don't know. Wow, I already said. It's hot. I've actually always been self-conscious about my inability to burp. My whole childhood, it was like one of my biggest regrets. I could never burp. I always faked it. I would go like, Is that to, to try and feel included? Wow, rub it in, man. Oh, f yeah, let's go. This is why we're dating. <laughs> we're a half mile in. Are you still okay with doing green glass door? Sure, let's do a couple green glass doors. No. A taco cannot go through the green glass door. Uh-uh. But a burrito can. Burrito could. Three quesadillas could fit through the green glass door. Like, with no problem, but not even one taco. Not even one taco, no. Can the sand go through the green glass door? No. No. Okay. Your father could never, okay. ever go through the green glass door. Okay. But daddy? <laughs> really? Well, daddy can sit right in that door, baby. Could my self-esteem get any lower? Honestly, yeah, your self-esteem. <laughs> Could go through the green glass door though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pending theory. Check Pending back next time. Theory. Probably another mile to go one way. <sighs> Easy. This is the yeah. warm up for the hike later, right? <laughs> it's the sand. Like you take like one step's worth of effort, but you get one half step's worth of distance. Look at this mud. He's gonna carry him back. Here you go. Oh, do you think he's actually gonna die? I mean, I hope not. They must be getting roasted out there. I feel like I have fireballs in my hand. It's just throw like... me one, throw me one. <laughs> <laughs> I think the surface of the sand was, uh, what, 170? Like, as long as no one like touches too much of it, yeah. puts their body on it, that should be okay. Oh, fuck. Ow. Dude, it's at 200 degrees. Oh, oh my god, it's so hot. It's 200 degrees. Ow. That Dude, was really oh. hot. Yeah, 172 Wait. degrees. I need to show your leg, Jonah. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, fuck. That's way taller than I thought. <laughs> I thought we were here. Fuck. Jonah, I think I'm this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it. No. Nope. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. No. Nope. We'll take it to a vote. No. Nope. Okay. Who yeah. thinks that this is it? No. Nope. That's it. That's two points. <sighs> okay. What are you doing? Oh. We're doing good. Jonah decided to roll in the sand and now his legs are all red. <laughs> I just wonder if he's gonna say damn it Jonah or damn it Elton more by the end of the day. Ooh, damn it, damn it Jonah counter. Ah! I'm gonna f die. I'm gonna sue Elton for this shit, I swear to God. Huh? What do you mean? I'm not saying anything. That's how long we've been hiking for. Take a guess. Okay, actually. 25? 30, 35 minutes. No. What? 17 minutes. Oh my oh. God, are you actually serious? Huh? God, it's hot. You guys need a break? Yeah. You, want chill, you want to chill in shade for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> Every once in a while you get a breeze that's slightly like 10 degrees hot, like less hot than all the other. You know what I mean? Dude, I feel like the wind here is worse. It's like really? sticking like a hot, like a like a blow dryer. I can't even speak. A fucking hair gun. Hair blow dryer, Jesus. How are you doing, Elton? I'm doing good. Jonah tried to eat Sam. <laughs> damn it, Jonah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm currently fine, but I'm, I can feel myself being like a little bit dumber. Like throbby. Like yeah. my, head. my vision was starting to go a little bit ago, so I had to take a break and have water. Alright, I gotta take a break before I do that hill. <sighs> oh. Thank you. The early signs of heat stroke are kind of leaving that exhaustion and going higher is your body is un unable to kind of like self-regulate, so it'll stop sweating. Normally that can happen starting at 104 degrees and just standing there. The temperature they're actually feeling is probably at least 130 to plus, and they're hiking in sand uphill, downhill. Oh. Okay. Just stop here then. Don't, don't push it. It's silly. Yeah. I don't want to stop because I feel like it like fluctuates my heart rate too much. I'm just gonna keep keep going. I just let them go up to the top. I'm not doing great, to be honest. I'm like not. Ooh. So confusion, dizziness. You could, you could go unconscious. You could have seizures. I'm just like very. very aware of like my heartbeat and like my chest and the side of my head like throbbing. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Don't know why. So close. And I'm short of breath and I haven't been moving for five minutes. Okay, it's, it's just so much harder. I'm gonna do it, it's right there. Okay, adrenaline wore off. I'm turning back. That is no joke. If you're pushing it already, don't do it. I wouldn't push it. I think Jonah's gonna puke right now. Uh, you might wanna have stuff ready for Jonah, like being real. Okay, my phone overheated. It's getting hotter. Look at this. 100. Oh 184.8 now on the ground, 185 on the ground. Insane. And if this is accurate, air temp is 143. All right, how are you feeling on a real note? I mean, I can tell you're not great, so. Yeah. Here, give me your bag. I'll take the weight off you too. It's like I... Most direct way back is gonna be this way. If anyone starts sweating or you actually will you could start feeling cool, and that's like a huge warning sign. That'd be another reason why I would kind of have to pull it and see what happens from there. 
chilly sensation in my back and shoulders. Straight forward, follow the footsteps. You basically just need to walk straight forward the whole way. Yeah. Were you talking to me? Yeah, I'm gonna get some water though. So if you use, does it have electrolytes, the salt, everything that makes your body work, and he keeps drinking water, he's now diluting his body of that. I drink a gallon of water, why am I not feeling better? You don't have any of the electrolytes or salt or anything that makes your body kind of go. Uh, whatever my knowledge is worth is, I would keep moving. I said I can't stop. You're overheating too. Yeah. Is there anything else to look for besides the actual stopping of, of sweat? Confusion, that's a big one. Uh, yeah. what, hap what can happen is the blood brain barrier just stop working and then you get proteins and ions stuck and then uh, it causes brain inflammation or brain swelling. Oh, yeah. uh, can we play the word game? Sure. No. One, two, three. Fuck. Orange. <laughs> Fuck in orange. So now you gotta think of what the next logical word is that you both say. I can't even think of one. I, can't even do I gotta pause. You can go. Oh my god. Oh. You guys should probably start walking here. This was not only done, literally on like 12 hours notice. No training, no prep, no, no anything, just the supplies we had. Pretty stupid. That's why we brought a medic. Got it, we're sort of heading over. Okay, let me get a high point then so they can see where to go. Yeah, she sounded super winded from the first time she checked in to the last one. Outhouses. I can't. Hey, if you were to walk to the outhouses, that would give you a clean line of sight at us. Ah, perfect. Okay, once you see me, let me know, and then we'll start walking down to the last spot where you can walk. How you doing, babe? Oh boy. For the record, it's both of them now. Uh, Ginger's also like not saying it, but she's about to bow out. Keep walking straight forward. I'm gonna wait for them to see us. And then that way, they know which way to go. So you guys can keep going. Down? Yeah, keep walking straight toward the outhouses. Those two gray buildings. And towards me, I'll go straight line towards you. They're already ahead of me by like 100 feet. Let me know when you can see me because I'm just chilling in the hot sun until you can get eyes on me. Are you able to like wave your arms? I think I see you. This is me waving my arms right now. Yeah, I see him. Oh, yeah. Yep, we see you walking towards you. Okay. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I mean, I'm not, but you know. Yeah. In comparison to them. How you doing, amigo? What you, what you feeling like? Not good. Let's keep talking. You okay? Here, uh, get an ice pack for my pack and put it on his neck and walk with him. I'm gonna walk with Ginger. Here. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is not fucking... No joke. Yeah? Jesus. Is it worse or better than the other time that you got heat stroke? I can't even talk to you right now. Okay. Yeah, I definitely have shortness of breath. Yeah. My vision was just starting to get weird. Yeah. Here's some of this too. I'll try it. Alright, did we make it longer or less than you expected? <laughs> oh, you made it way longer than I expected. <laughs> I was talking to the GoPro, I'm like, ah, oh, I'll be surprised if they make it half an hour. And they're like, oh, they made it to the top. <laughs> Eric, can I have some water in the electrolyte drink? All right, come on now. I'm coming. If you can, I can hold it for you, but you keep the ice on your neck. Come on. Good. You okay? No. <laughs> She's puking.
I'll take Diona back to the car. The air is 145 degrees right now. At what point should we have turned around? Because you don't pass out of me. The point of the feeling bad was probably less than halfway. I'm gonna see if I can find a nice car. My body now knows I've made it back. My body's going, hey dude, fuck you. Like yeah, my body's going, hey dude, fuck you. And I was just hiding the ID bag. Make sure you get all the air out of the line. Do we know his pulse? Big folks. <laughs> <laughs> um, pass out. Come in here. Come in here. I want you to pass out. In the car. In the car. Side, just like that. Yeah. I think this is more of a basal bagel thing. Are you able to feed on the glass? Yeah, the higher your feet go, the better it's going to be. Here's the bag. Here's the bag. Throw open the bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My truck. This one I think is more of a basal bagel response. Able to get the shirt off? What about shoes? Should I take his shoes off? Yeah, but you get anything that's keeping his heat in. You're doing good, man. He's alive. He's alive. Do you think it would have been every, any different if you drank water? Fight, fight or flight. Once he got back to a safe spot, he knew the people with him were safe. That's when everything started happening to him. Um, so he was out of that fight response. And now he's, oh shit, it's hitting me. So he was staying healthy because he loves us. And he wanted us to be okay. Finally, some validation. Poor babe. I'm fine. Yeah, you look fine. fine. This is the best I've ever felt. <laughs> never been better. What was, what was that? They've never been better. <laughs> <laughs> never been better than laying in the back of my truck under another man's crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Not just any man's crotch. <laughs> You're EMTs. You're EMTing yeah, that's me. And <laughs> <laughs> drive home. Two. Look how sweaty my hand is. <laughs> what? Oh, oh my god. Oh, wait, really? Oh, that's that's nasty. all. That's so wait, that's... gnarly, dude. Hey, you're alive. Just start by sitting and just chilling. Fuck, dude. Hi. Oh, good. Trying trying to not <laughs> have heat stroke. You want a medic? Oh, we, we have, have a medic. medic. I hired a medic. I'm starting to line on him. Some fluids. Okay. Bottles are within normal range. He just felt really shitty. Okay. I mean, we can get you ambulance transport. No, no, oh, it's no, good. it's okay. Definitely not. That's Thank why we that. brought him. Fair. Smart. Do you need Powerade or ice water? No, I think we all. have everything. We, we have a bunch cooler. of electrolytes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate your help, though. Slowly Thank better. you for stopping. Thank Thanks, you. Man. It's like terrifying because right now it's the same temperature that it is in Phoenix. Oh, my God. Phoenix is 119 today. Vegas is 117. And didn't they say that it's like 10 days in a row now Phoenix has been above yeah. 110? Yeah. That's absurd. That's, that's what's terrifying. It's like yeah. it's just getting hotter like every day yeah. all over the world. Damn, even if you're gonna go extinct. The wave is the number one weather related deaths in America. You can't fucking escape it and you like have to keep going and you're like away from safety. Like, yeah. It happens, it happens yeah. so fucking it's quick. So it's so weird. Like you're fine, you're fine, you're fine and then like you're yeah. Uh, the IV cannot go through the green left glass door. Ah! But, oh, yeah. but a needle can. A needle can. A needle can definitely fit. Yeah. Oh. Let me see. This tape can't go. Rubber? Yeah, I got it. Dude. Tootsie roll can. Yeah, I could. Yeah, that's but tootsie. A black, a black bear could not. No, no, black bear black cannot. Black bear cannot go through. A no. subscriber cannot go through the green glass door. Mm. The comment section can. Comments can. Let's comment what else can go through the green glass door. <laughs> <laughs>Yes. You're keeping us all. Thank you so no much. Problem. Got you. <laughs> Appreciate you. We were supposed to do this hike next.
but we all KO'd, so thank you seriously yeah. for taking care yeah, of us. We saved our no lives. Problem. On a real note, it's kind of terrifying that this happened, not because we did this for fun. We did it for YouTube, this wasn't out of necessity. Like, this is a real yeah. problem yeah. that's getting worse every year. In and major the cities. Yeah, the only way I can even think to remotely help is literally by planting trees, which we're, we're already doing. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna try and work on something a little bit bigger to make like a bigger impact. All right. I'm, I'm no Mr. Beast. I like that. Okay. Get like yeah. 100,000 trees planted in a day or a million yes. trees planted a day. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm excited to see what these next 30 videos are gonna be. Again, leave your comments, whatever it is. Every single video, leave your ideas. We'll make it happen. We'll we see you guys it. in the next video. We'll be back with Corey, Jerry, and Wes. They're all Ooh. coming back to the channel. I'm ready.